Hello my friends, I am Mr23 and today I'm going to review you a project that took me more than one month to finish. A wallpaper that I made for SenseLab 16 inch display tablet and I will do my best to explain everything in less than 20 minutes. Let's go! So everything started with this uh, background photo from Freepik website and uh, I removed all the non-important uh, elements from it and then here on this side i wanted to make it more dirty so i used this uh, photo from adobe stock and i set the blending mode to hard light and then i drag it to the side press ctrl t and i tried to match the perspective by holding ctrl and drag the corners to uh, use it as a texture for that side of the wall then i added a mask and removed uh, the window then I desaturated that uh, texture to match better my uh, overall colors. I used the same texture again instead of uh, this brick texture that I had over there. I desaturated and then from Adobe Stock I used this photo because I needed the floor. I placed the floor here and again I desaturated and make it a bit darker. And I played with levels to add some shadows on some parts to blend it better with the rest. Because I wanted a night scene I, um, I made this part of the windows darker and then using levels on those parts of the picture I made those parts darker. Then I selected what's outside of the window and I uh, added a color fill, a black color to be sure that uh, I'm not distracted by anything and to help me to build the light source later. Talking about the light source, I use this uh, photo and I place it outside this uh, window and I remove the sky and also I had to match the perspective. I uh, used the whole time when I created this artwork, um, this uh, grid, this perspective grid, and this helped me to align everything uh, on uh, this one point perspective, and that helped me a lot in building this uh, artwork. Then I used this photo as the sky, and then on top, I painted with a blue color on a layer set to linear dodge to um, blend it better with the sky. Then one of my favorites to transform a day photo into a night scene is a color lookup which is called night from day so you can find it uh, here on uh, color lookup and uh, just uh, search for night from day and uh, automatically this transforms your artwork into a night scene and what i did was to set it to soft light lower the opacity and to match the colors better I added a color balance which is set to color and here I modified the midtones and shadows. Then again from Freepik I found this uh, image and I used uh, the paintings from this one. I masked only the part with the painting and I duplicated and uh, rotated the top area. Then I desaturated only the painting area, mask out the rest that I didn't want to keep and from Envato I found this butterfly which is called uh, Green Papillo Butterfly and I went to Wikipedia and uh, copied all the infos about those uh, butterflies and everything uh, what's written here it's for real so it's not a gibberish text and I placed uh, the painting over there and I repeated the same steps with other butterflies and the same every text that I use here is real so it describes the butterfly's uh, properties then I added a blue dark shadow underneath the paintings then I added a levels adjustment layer and I decreased the lights and painted on a mask to mimic the windows and that's why I have those lines over there on the butterfly's paintings then I added a solid color a white solid color and I decreased the opacity to 20% I inverted the mask and I selected only this part of the window and I painted it back uh, with a white color to um, mimic the glass of the painting and I repeated the process for the other two paintings. Again from Envato Elements I used this uh, photo of this uh, robot vacuum cleaner. I added uh, levels to make it uh, really dark change the colors with the color balance where I modify the shadows and then here on the left side I will add a shelf using levels I made the shelf uh, more dark and underneath I added a shadow on a layer set to multiply 
and I started to add things on the shelf. I made this photo of uh, this uh, tablet uh, case. I uh, removed the background and I placed it here on the left side. Again, from Envato Elements, I uh, uh, used this uh, photo of uh, this uh, cardboard box and I wrote here, Mr. 23 made this, so everybody knows that I did it. I added this book, some headphones on top, a sci-fi mask and a glass dome from uh, Envato Elements. And the final ones are those two uh, frames on top. So for those uh, paintings, what I did was to um, select the inside and make it white. So I made the inside of those two paintings uh, white and I uh, added uh, inner shadow so it uh, cast uh, a shadow inside. Then I added a texture for the inside of the paintings, a shadow of this first painting that uh, is casted on the second one and the shadow underneath. Of course, I repeated the same process for the other two paintings and added levels to darken them up. I added all those butterflies inside, I made their shadows, I decreased the exposure and increased the offset and gamma correction. Then with levels, I made those uh, butterflies from the left side darker and I repeated the process that, you, that I told you here on those uh, paintings, those frames with that uh, white diagonal. But this time, instead of uh, normal, I set the blending mode to soft light. For the glass dome, the same thing, I made it darker and uh, with the hue and saturation, I desaturated everything. And inside, I added some grass and also uh, a part of a plant. Made them both darker and then I started to adjust the lighting over there. So made the left side darker. With uh, color balance, I added uh, more blues and uh, science. With exposure, I added a bit of, the, of exposure on the right side and I manually painted uh, this part that you see here that uh, mimics uh, uh, window reflection. At some point I even added uh, one of my paintings on a canvas but uh, later on I decided to remove it. Again from Envato Elements I added this uh, chair, this gaming chair and I first desaturated it, made the chair darker using levels and with exposure I made uh, the chair a bit brighter again. And then on a layer set to linear dodge I painted it with the red and I also added the blend if. So this is without the blend if and if you hold Alt and drag the slider to the right, you see that will um, disperse the color much better. And using that uh, magic that I always use in almost all my artworks, I painted uh, around the chair to add it like a LED light. So please check out this tutorial if you want to learn how to create this type of uh, light. Then I made a print screen of everything, a screenshot and uh, to this screenshot I added a uh, Gaussian blur and uh, I painted uh, on the mask so I can have some parts uh, blurred, those parts from behind and also a bit on the butterflies so I can have my chair on focus. So from Envato Elements I found this uh, desk, I started to build on it, remove this uh, area, added another texture here on top to have a clean desk, I added this metal grill here on uh, the bottom area, added this uh, sci-fi uh, element uh, underneath the desk, again from uh, Envato Elements added a shadow underneath it and a shadow on top. The hardest part here was to match this desk with the perspective of everything to make it more believable because the desk uh, had other perspective lines. Uh, what really helped me here was my grid, my perspective grid and by going to edit and then uh, using the perspective warp I managed to align my uh, desk with the, my perspective. Levels to make it darker and again levels to make it even more darker on some parts. And because of the art or theme, I wanted to have more glass domes on the desk. So from Envato, I found this uh, bracelet or whatever it is. I uh, selected only one part of it. Then I used the grass from this photo and added it here. Then I use uh, this plant and I selected only a part of it because from this photo I used uh, this one, this red one. I placed a similar glass dome that I have from Envato, uh, similar to this one, I uh, placed only the top part here, added a shadow underneath. So after I um, added levels to make everything darker, I uh, painted 
another reflection. I manually painted it a reflection on the glass. And with exposure, I increased the exposure on the right side because we have more light here on the right side. With color balance, I modify the colors. And with the exposure at the end, I uh, decrease the exposure. So now I'm satisfied with the result. I repeated the process building uh, another one here on the left. And here on the right side of the desk, I decided to build a hologram of a tree. So everything started with this uh, image from Envato, this uh, plate. I don't know what it is, a, a flat ring. So I placed it on the desk, uh, added uh, some shadows underneath, made it darker. Then I used this one as a reflection and I set the blending mode to screen. I clipped uh, levels inside it to affect it where I added more contrast. And because we have this light source, this blue light source, uh, I uh, added uh, on a layer set to linear dodge, I added this reflection on the base plate and also um, on the desk. I selected a tree from this photo, place it inside that hologram. Then I added a hue saturation where I made the tree uh, blue. I made a copy of the original tree and uh, I uh, double click on the layer and I play with the RGB split. I will hide the green channel and then I hit OK and if I move with the keyboard my tree a bit to the right it will have this uh, really cool RGB split uh, effect that helps my hologram to be more believable and then I made another copy of the original tree and I set the blending mode to do color dodge and the opacity to 50% and I used this uh, abstract photo I added levels to it to um, increase the contrast a lot and then I set it to color uh, dodge and added a mask and I made a lot of copies for this image and place them on some parts of the tree to uh, mimic a hologram effect and I added also some uh, um, some birds here on the right side and I added that RGB split where I remove the green channel and move the birds a bit to the right and then I added a mask where I added some vertical lines so uh, so this is uh, the inside of the mask so I just uh, copied those lines a few times then on a layer set to linear dodge I painted with the white color um, some parts of the tree to make it more visible and on a layer set to color dodge I paint it with a blue color. I made a photo of the pen case with my phone, selected it, placed it here and because I had a different light source in my room so uh, first thing I desaturated it then made it uh, darker using levels, added a shadow underneath make the left side even darker and then with uh, the same method that I'm using all the time with uh, linear dodge and uh, the blend if I paint it on the right side and also with a yellow color on the pen edit an exposure on the right side to make the right side uh, brighter and also I change a bit the colors with color balance same thing I made another photo of the quick keys with uh, my phone change a bit the perspective and same thing with levels made it darker and uh, added a shadow underneath on the screen of the quick keys let me show you I had a reflection from my room and because I place it here it should have a different reflection so what I did here was to take the marquee tool select an area like that and press ctrl shift and C and then press ctrl shift and V to paste it and it will paste what you selected on the screen like a screenshot and with that area I place it inside ctrl T and flip it vertically and uh, made it um, and then I set a blending mode to soft light and added a mask and I ended up with a different reflection on that little screen again from Envato I downloaded this lamp I flip it 90 degrees added a chain on both sides like uh, it's holding this uh, lamp and the same thing made it uh, really dark using levels and with my magic method using the gradient map I painted this yellowish uh, color please don't forget to watch this tutorial because you will uh, understand how I'm using this uh, method much uh, better from this photo I selected this uh, robot arm place it here on the right side and from this one I selected uh, the left one and place it on the left side same things made them darker and then with exposure I made the right side of them uh, brighter and I paint it with my um, linear dodge method. I paint it with a blue color and also added the blend if. So without the blend if um, you can uh, 
like see that blue color where I use it so I paint it with this blue color but if you add a blend if so where I have really really dark colors what I usually do I'm not holding alt and drag the slider from the first I'm first dragging the slider without holding alt you see that uh, black area will be removed and then I'm holding alt and drag the right slider this is the tablet and inside the tablet as you can see the screen of the tablet has a wallpaper so I created this wallpaper from the scratch it all started with this background and then I used another photo from this one I uh, selected only the mountains area I uh, added that I added that uh, night from day color lot that I told you then with levels made everything even darker added a sky from another photo so from this photo and um, set it to screen paint it with linear dodge on the screen so this is the map all the colors that you see here are painted so if you paint on a black layer those colors and then you set it to linear dodge it will uh, look like that from this photo i selected a tree i suggest you to watch this video to learn how to select different objects it will help you a lot place the tree here and uh, added levels to make it darker hue and saturation then with uh, that night from day color lookup which is amazing and i paint it with a uh, pink a red color on the right side of the the tree on the, and the rocks to have some light light reflections on the tree and the rocks from this photo i selected uh, the mom and her daughter placed them on the rocks added a mask to mask their feet like uh, they are behind the rocks added a shadow that night from day color lookup does an amazing job again levels to make them darker color balance to change their color added exposure to add a bit of um, lights on the right side and then i started to add the jellyfish please watch my uh, previous tutorial where i'm showing you exactly how to select the jellyfish so after i added uh, all of them i started to add some gaussian blur to them because for example this one was too focused and i wanted it to be more blurry and then i just started to paint some fog in front of them to lose them more in the background and then using uh, Ctrl t i changed the perspective of the tablet holding control to have the tablet in a certain angle that i wish to have added a shadow underneath then i use this photo of this jellyfish i also added a gaussian blur and then i manually painted a lot on top of this jellyfish so all those colors that you can see here on uh, my layers panel I uh, added one by one and set them to linear dodge manually painted on top of the jellyfish with different colors and I ended up with a magical look for my jellyfish to make the jellyfish shine more I uh, added color dodge where I have uh, painted with those colors on top and that made my jellyfish glow a lot as always your support is really important watching the entire video liking or commenting helps the algorithm and also if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel now is the moment to do it because I posted over 150 amazing videos so far and I'll continue to spread my love for photo manipulation and with you by my side the sky is the limit.